Welcome back. This won't be a long video. I just wanted to share some information with everyone that I discovered today that I thought was pretty interesting. ESXi 8 does work with the DL20 Gen 9 servers. Both VMware and HPE state that only ESXi 6.5 Update 3 is supported, but what does work blows completely past ESXi 7 and into version 8. Just to walk you through what I did, there were a couple of areas I wanted to test first. Uh, number one was if ESXi 8 would install from a USB with no errors, as well as for curiosity's sake, if ESXi could install and boot from the internal SD card on the motherboard. Despite installing ESXi on an SD card not exactly being proper, it worked. It did encounter the expected CPU warning during the install, but it wasn't the one that I was expecting where it calls out VMware compatibility guide and allows you to continue. This one was just a warning about the CPU possibly not being supported in future releases. So, good to go. ESXi 8 installed onto the SD card with zero issues whatsoever and booted up just fine. Since I had a spare Broadcom network card laying around, I decided to power the unit down and see if it would install with any issues or if anything would pop up. None at all. ESXi recognized the card and was available for assignment within the web interface. Something I want to note is that this past February of this year, VMware released a statement saying that the ability to boot and run ESXi from an SD card or USB will officially end with the ESXi versions following version 8. To quote VMware, VMware will continue supporting the USB SD card as a boot device through the vSphere 8.0 product release, including the update releases. Both installs and updates will be supported on USB SD cards. VMware is working very closely with all the major OEMs to ensure that future generations of server platforms do not support USB SD card as a boot device, and that more reliable mechanisms that confirm to the VMware device and endurance requirements. Kind of sucks, but who's really wanting to run ESXi from an SD card or USB anyway? I mean, really. Moving on, after fiddling around within ESXi and trying to stir up any potential problems, I decided to install an operating system just to see how that goes. So I moved over a copy of Kali Linux 2022.3 from my network storage to the data store on the server to see if it would install on the local SSD with no hiccups. And it did. Awesome possum. That wraps up these short bits that I wanted to share. If anyone has any questions or something that I'd like to share as well, drop a comment in the section below. As usual, if you like this video, please give it a like and maybe a subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next bat time, same bat channel.